Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales, uh, the medieval game uh, which met XCOM and had a short flirt. Uh, we are continuing with our companions, our group that is still uh, ravaging through the Veritrus uh, province and I hope that we can make progress uh, to get a lot of the storyline missions uh, going. Then there is still a fight against Colonel Alec uh, Alexa Garthard on the radar and we need to go through the Virtue's tomb, um, which isn't done yet. So it's potentially two episodes uh, and hopefully we can get most of uh, this province played uh, through. But let's see. First and foremost, we're starting here at the uh, St. Leonard's Abbey. If I'm not mistaken, we were asked uh, by a woman to clear Stand this back, out. Peasants. We let you off lightly last time, but if you threaten the Abbey again, you will pay that heresy with your lives. We're not after the Abbey. It's the plague ridden we want. They're making our vineyards wither, and our families go hungry. Nonsense! Broker Old Marheim says the plague has nothing to do with your vineyard. What does he know, Old Marheim? His apothecary has disappeared. Now let us in, or we'll send you our mercenaries. You hired mercenaries. That does it. Enough is enough. All right. Well. That does it. Enough is enough. Let's uh, go. Enemies start with fragility. Thanks to our passive abilities, I would say. <coughs> excuse me. Um, I would say we're doing our typical strategy, which is the let's not surround them. But instead, fight front to back. God, that's a beautiful little choke point here. Now, you civilian go to the back. Oh no, wait, the civilians are non essential, which means you civilian. Could indeed fight from the other side. Very good. Um, Dilly here. Anders here. Uh, Miss Grau can come from the bottom. JP can uh, pick up the spear, uh, spear and uh, just uh, throw it. Makes an awful lot of sense. All right. So. Namri moves here. Does uh, that. And that. And then moves up and begins to engage in mortal combat. In the meantime, these guys are busy, which is good. Jim, um, you know what, before Jim does anything, how about how about we're actually moving down here, this way we can't be flanked. Frontline engages. 
The civilian has a tough time with her pitchfork. But she's buying us the time that we need. Moves up. A little bit of a breather room here. And moving to the front line, that'll give us Valor. <coughs> Now they finally are clustered up. Um, if we could push him a little bit further over, that would be great. And the way that we can do that is by moving to here. Best friend, uh, best friend, best body bonus. Now that hit would hit all three, unfortunately. We first need to move him there. And then it's still just two. Good. But solid hits. Moving all the way to here. And turn. All right. Now, if we were to move to here, that would be exactly what the doctor has ordered. One, two, and a beautiful three. Engaging and we're ready to rumble. Miss Grell is doing a fantastic job with her um, with her massive dual hammer that strikes multiple times. I need a fourth one and that fourth one could be pitch forking the pitchforking civilian Roby is moving up he smelled food, uh, food so naturally he wants to come and eat some of them be a kill I think that's okay the three points of damage do not mean a lot there's the Valor point pitchfork lady does what pitchfork gears do best <clears throat> attack from behind and stab Now, unfortunately, we're still too far away for uh, everybody gets inspiration. But that's okay. Next turn, maybe. Moves up. Little bit of poison. Quick turnaround. That's annoying. I was hoping I could backstep him with wrath, but I cannot. I can get out of here though. 
That's okay, that's one down. The civilian is fighting valiantly. New round is starting, which I like. Best friend bonus activated. We'll deal with you in a second. There is mud. And there is a kill. End of turn. Namri moves up. Begins to engage. The side here is super safe. We're starting to flank. Just trying to position that way we can get all of the Valor that we want. Unfortunately, our brave civilian on the other side has found its demise. All right, finally. Full Valor moving up and letting them come. Slight little shot. Massive shot there. And Zoe is moving up. <laughs> the kill moves are actually brutal and and quite entr uh, entrancing. Like you would expect it. I should have just shouted so that we do have double movement speed. No regard for their own life, the civilians. Everybody here gets fury. We're moving up. And we're just getting some more Valor. <clears throat> This will give everyone inspiration. Moving up. And it's payback time. too fat to go through here without burning that's the main question it's currently stuck in the mud <clears throat> nope that would cause burning that would cause burning oh come on the slope was too uh, too small to go through. <clears throat> the problem with Robius is the moment that he burns, he actually will take a lot of damage.
All right, starting to soften these guys up. At the same time, we're getting Veller. Might position ourselves here. Yep, that's a good. Uh, that's a good one. Fantastic. That is the single best positioning that you could have asked for. That on the other hand is was a stupid positioning. Why did he run through the fire? Good, move slightly away because I don't want the others to catch fire. Almost starting, oh boy, I'm almost starting to get motivated to give everyone the fireproof, the fi fireproof thing. the uh, the belt nice hit unfortunately not a kill and even more unfortunate We're burning. God, that wasn't played per uh, perfectly. Unfortunately, way too much clutter here. <clears throat> Best friend bonus. That's a kill. And that's another one. 123. Holy shit. Good. We minimized the repairs. And unfortunately, we just got some very basic loot. All right, let's just double check that shield. Is that an upgrade? No, and potentially. What does aggressive shielding do? If this unit still has armor, they reflect 15% of the uh, damage to the attacker. That's actually not too bad, but we're losing the protection uh, skill, which would give us uh, the option to take 90% less damage. I'll stay with our shield because uh, protection is actually very, very useful. They, they're not going to kill us, are they? Uh, well, potentially they are. We came all the way here. We won't be intimidated. Out of the way, Abbot. We demand justice. You slaughtered our defenders, forced your way into an abbey, and now you threaten to kill innocent people? How dare you speak of justice? We have no choice. The plague-ridden spread their disease and wreaked havoc on our lands. It is our duty, our right, to punish them. How could these people who have been confined in this abbey for weeks spread the plague to your fields? You have no evidence to substantiate this claim. That is true. Of course we do. Gosenberg is the only kingdom where the plague-ridden are looked after for so long. 
It is hardly a coincidence if we are the only ones who lost our crop. This is absurd. Only Vertruz is affected. The vines from other provinces are perfectly healthy. The disease affecting your vineyards has nothing to there do. There is only one way to be sure. Kill all the plague ridden and see if it rids us of the disease. Only then will we truly know. For the eye's sake. Mercenaries, stop them from killing these poor souls. We will not let them lay a finger on these poor souls. Whatever is killing their crop is a botanical disease. Nah, he has, uh, he's correct. Like that, that was a very accurate dialogue of a, uh, of an intelligent academic person uh, arguing with a peasant. Killing the plague. I would love to get uh, St. Leonard's emblem, but we are playing this here as an RPG, so I enough bloodshed. Let's go and go away. I guess it would have been difficult for them to poison our fields without leaving the abbey. Besides, other regions should have been affected. Yeah, that was too. his line of argumentation, dude. Well, we'll let them be. Half of your Jew will go. To I was worried you were going to side with the Vintners. I do not know what they promised you, but here is what I hope is a fair compensation. Oh, okay, cool. Well, we're getting St. Leonard's emblem after all. What does it do, by the way? Nice. According to the legend, St. Leonard founded the nine crafty guilds herself today. No less than 24 corporations claim descent from the prestigious patronage. Profession experience gained uh, by the troop increases by 5%. And that is fantastic. That is awesome. Really good. Because XP is becoming a bit of a slog nowadays. I need that brandy, I'm sorry. We thought our end had come. But... Cool. Well, that was a great start. We are now quite sure that uh, the that the plagued are not responsible for all of that. Instead, there must be a different explanation. So next up, let's go to Marheim Castle and then uh, back to the uh, vineyard down there in the meantime short rest here be careful if you go into the hills south of it we don't need that i heard farmers mention plagued rats or that um, what else how many raw materials do we, we have zero okay well that's going to suck but we need 20 all right just refreshing because we have apparently used everything in in the repair anything else i can smith in the meantime ghostly bow wouldn't be bad just to keep up with the uh, damage that is needed but even more i would like to create a ghostly jacket because once your armor is fine, you will eventually get weapons. We do have a great bow there as well. Dexterity plus eight. Yeah. Listen, dexterity plus 12 would be a decent upgrade. But that armor is pretty bad. 
and you can see my crafted armors are actually better so let's wait for some more armor although I think we haven't crafted the bow yet so that would be extra experience let's do that quickly ghostly bow and uh, start forging it Okay, but not perfect. Dexterity plus 15, however, is a sizable improvement. Good, I think we'll give that one to Dilly. We're losing the Mud Sling, which was a good ability. 12 uh, damage to a lot of people or up to 30 damage to a single person. Hmm. I think individual sniping is helpful. Uh, Zoe can still do the AoE damage. Maybe we'll give her the Mud Sling because the fire damage, as much as I like it, typically had, had the tendency to just spread around. On the other hand, our front line is immune to fire. So let's just use fire as a means to go through very heavy okay. armor. If you go into the hills south of here, I heard farmers mention. All right. We needed to camp here anyways. Let's do that. We need cloth because we want to get a couple more torches for our exploration. All right, a little bit of this. A lot of that and that. And I need to cook soon. That bear He's eating like crazy. Roby has an appetite. Unbelievable. No, 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 no. Wage increased by 30%. We're not doing that. We're decreasing happiness. And a bit of the Veiler gained today, because that's a short-term uh, penalty, but not a long-term one. One of the advantages of not running such a large crew is you actually have a moderate, uh, a really moderate size. Okay, short shopping trip. And then, uh, nah, let's, we don't need anything right now. Let's continue with Marheim Castle. Rosal Loof told me of your discovery. If I didn't trust her, I wouldn't believe a word of this tale. A single plant smothering thousands of others. Mysterious men sowing its seeds and willing to kill to hide their misdeeds. We must find out who they are working for and root out this tuber from our soil. And I want you to take the lead. 
You know what the plant looks like, which will buy us some precious time. The apothecary's apprentice has just sent me the recipe for a potion that can kill any plant. Take it. You will need it to eradicate this parrot. All right. Weeding potion. Pour it into a plant. This uh, potion will burn it from the root. We need salt and we need Gossenberg wine. Oh, what a coincidence. We have all of that here. you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Mm, actually not. Still hoping to get a bit more uh, iron because since we no longer have a miner of sorts, this actually has become a problem for us. Also, were quite wanted. Might I interest you in my humble wares? Careful here, Saiken. There we go. Cool. So, what was uh, this potion about? I think we learned it was wine and what else? Salt and wine. Well, that's easy enough. Let's step into the market. has been screaming his head off for days. I am this close to making him eat his cart. Okay, well, we can't steal anymore. Um... I think... This crook has been screaming his head off for days. I a bit uh, cloth cannot, uh, cannot be bad. Having ten of it would be helpful. Want to be careful with our uh, with stink our money. Getting all of the salt and a few eels. I would offer wine to go with your cheese, but the disease has all but destroyed our vineyards. A few of that. And now we only need Gossenberg wine, which I believe we can get here. I'm concerned about the vineyard disease. It's confined to Vertrus at the moment. Which neatly brings us to here. Weeding potion. There we go. One, two, three. That should be more than enough. Getting a sweet, sweet XP bonus. How many actual potions do we have? Five. Uh, let's get five more. Medicine is helpful. More flawed remedies. And here we did have cure for the uh, for the plague, but unfortunately that requires infected brain, which I still have no idea where to get that one from. Infection. Can you heal? So heal that. 
Who would do this to my family? And why? Apparently not. Yeah, we're fine. I'll I'll stick with the gold for now. We're doing okay. Okay, so off we go. Depart. I think we wanted uh, to go to the south next. Gosh, I don't want to buy food, guys. I need actual ore, please. Good, we'll create some eel soup, which was the recipe that I wanted uh, to do anyways. Should have bought more salt. And with all of our knowledge points, I'm wondering. I think we should get these easy recipes. Because that means we only need to carry around uh, salt and everything else can. Oh, that would be good. And everything else can simply be created by having salt. Very good. We also have enough torches, finally. Good. And with this great food, dexterity also increases by 15%, which is good for our uh, dexterity heavy party. There we go. Troops happiness is up to 12 again. Not perfect uh, after that last happiness bump, but we're getting there. So we currently don't have the um, experience bonus. Well, there we go. What's this, mercenaries? I didn't know you enjoyed gardening. Well, we're immediately ambushed. I think this will be, by the way, after that fight. I need to call it an episode because, boy, boy, we're running the one-hour episodes again. But the fights are just taking a long time. That, yes, and everybody should be encouraged to be uh, taking less damage. And we're running up. Let's go. These mercenaries all have mudsling and a couple of these high dexterity damage bows. Uh, we do have enough valor, valor, so I think what we're going to do is actually use Ovation. 
because the inspiration is great. Everybody can move so fast to their targets. Frontline has finally engaged. Roby is taking one of uh, these archers, one on one. Love it. Oh, it's yet again one of uh, these situations where you just can't move in. Well, I tell you what. Let's close the front line here. Best friends. Push this guy forward. And we're good. More Valor for us. Triple fire. She moves a little bit further to the front. And this will create an extra Valor. Okay, very good. Move up. Move up even further. Oh boy. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, Dilly is becoming more of a single target uh, supporter. Well, rather a single target finisher. There we go. That's all of uh, the sweet, sweet availer that we need. Poison here, poison there. Moves up to here. <laughs> Straight up kills her. to engage over there next turn. Unfortunately, the front line is now burning. Moves to here, that should be good enough for a single hit. Yep, but not for kill. There we go. And we're continuing to move down. Good, for starters, uh, Pauly 
gives everybody uh, the nice little speed buff again before moving up here and getting ready for the next uh, group to come in. Move up. And these guys will learn a valuable lesson in a second. Which is don't fuck around uh, with Enders. Oh yeah. Moves in. Simply annihilates this guy. Moves out. Daily. Yep. Yeah, that was a very solid hit. And with the bleeding and the slowdown, this guy will die. Roby, on the other hand, got tickled by that archer. Yeah, that's the problem with burning, it's always spreading. But it is one of our best abilities against like these heavier armor targets. On the other hand, when I see just how how hard Roby hits with his bow, then I, w I have to wonder, is that even needed? That guy just straight up died. All right, Dilly. Moves up here. Then takes the time to sprint. Hits this guy. And finishes the battle. I think the battle should be over. But it is not. More damage. And now it might be over. Yep. We got ourselves a moderate armor, but I think ours is better. Nonetheless, good cash loot there. And let's end uh, today's episode with going back to the Windfill Estate. Wasn't that... Ambush the caravan and capture the woman. Oh, okay. Well, I tell you what, we're going to do that the next time. Thank you for watching and uh, if you want to ambush uh, something, let it be the like button and see you very soon. Bye-bye.